Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here, as always, is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, we're going to do a topic. We're going to talk about health and energy. In these current times, health is something that is extremely on the forefront of our mind. And right now, the energy of health is connected to fear. I, I would hope that during this topic conversation here about health, wellness, and energy, that it maybe some of your perspective will shift and you'll gain some of your power back. Before I begin and go deeper into the energetic pieces of this conversation, I wanna be very clear. First of all, you need to follow the direction and guidance of your doctor, healthcare professionals, and healthcare providers. Listen to the scientists, okay? Use your brain and use some, some solid concrete information to make decisions that are best for you, for your health, and recognizing that the choices that you make are also affecting other people, strangers, family, everyone else. And so I don't want to do videos like this and like tell you what to do. I hate that, you guys. Oh, pet peeve of mine is when people come on and they're all like righteous and they tell you what you need to be doing and you know, that kind of a thing. It's frustrating for me. So I don't want to tell you what to do, but I need to put a disclaimer in here and let you know that you need to listen to healthcare folks. I am not a healthcare person. I need to be very clear on that. And I'm not giving you any specific guidance or instruction. I am, a, I am simply giving you information to connect you to a powerful resource of your energy and encourage you to have a positive mindset, a connected attitude with energy to work with your health for your overall well being. Okay, are we on the same page? Good. Now I need to give you a little backstory. I have tried to record this video twice. The first time it sounded so soapboxy preachy and I thought there is no way I would not listen to this myself. And I was missing some things like telling you, hey, I, I am not telling you to go outside and not and do as you please, have your own freedom. I'm not telling you that at all. And I'm also not telling you, I don't know how to say this, you guys. I, I'm sick of, pet peeve again, here's a little rant, just interrupting this video for a rant, rant, rant. I'm so sick of people telling me, stay home, shelter in place, you need to stay home, you're gonna kill people, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, thanks mom and dad. Yes, is that true? Yeah, yeah, we need to take responsibility, we need to, do what we need to be doing, or in this case, not be doing, and own that, our part, our contribution. And so my family and I, of course, we're sheltering in place. Of course, we're staying at home. We're trying not to go to the, the grocery store, which is hard for six people, especially when I like fresh veggies, veggies and fruits and stuff, for we're trying to stretch it to 10 days. And that's a huge thing here, let me just tell you. That's huge. So I get that it's like inconvenient, but it's not about that. And I don't want to be all shaming you and telling you what to do and, oh, you're so bad because you're the reason why people are dying and blah, blah, blah. Okay, you guys, because blame and guilt and shame really works to encourage people to take care of themselves. No, it doesn't work. So at Above Life Channel, you're not going to get that. You are going to get the energetic perspective from me as a psychic and a medium, from 15 years of my experiences working with you, you, the people who come to me who are dealing with serious health issues, issues anywhere from fibromyalgia to thyroid issues to serious issues like cancer or kidney disease. I have worked with a lot of different people in a lot of different ways and the power from a physical body situation it's just a circumstance. That's all it is, it's a circumstance. It's not a part of a lack, it's not a problem. It's a circumstance, a situation. And that has a component that is physical, but it also has a component that is energetic or spiritual. So every physical thing, whether it's a shoulder injury, a knee problem, arthritis, whatever it may be, an old football injury, whatever it is, there's always an energy piece to it. You can work the energy. For the physical body thing, you work with your doctors and your care providers to give you a well-rounded, healthy approach 
to how you're gonna manage that or how you're gonna work it to make sure you're the healthiest you can possibly be. But you also have to know that right here, right now, I'm telling you, there's also an energetic component. It's not an either or, physical and energy. It's a and, it's a both. This is what creates the wholeness, okay? So the energy place is where you can work. You can work it, you can work it, you can work it, and you're probably going, well, Bridget, how do I do that? There's so many ways you can work with energy. So many ways, simple ways, meditation, yoga, um, qigong. There's so many practices you can use to work with energy, but you could also use visualization. You can also use mantras. You can also use affirmations. You can also use the chakras and the energy centers of the body. You can do toning, use sound healing. There are so many things. You can work with a spirit guide that is your energy management point point spirit guide that helps you to manage the energy that's around you. You can do breathing exercises. You guys, there is so many resources. There's EFT, emotional freedom technique and tapping. There is a ton of different kind of healing modalities that work remotely. So if you don't feel, you're not really sure how to do that for yourself or clear your energy or align your energy or whatever it may be that you need, I personally believe that all energy boils down to this connection. You need to connect connection. You can use the word alignment if you want, but it's connection. And it's not a one and done. Oh, you're healed. It's not like that. It's about connection. You don't want the disconnect. You want the connect because then everything's flowing. All the information is being shared. There's optimal wholeness and connection, connection. So different healing modalities, you can get somebody to work with you remotely and they can do some healing work for you because why? They don't have to physically touch your body because they're working in the energy and energy is etheric. Energy transcends. Energy is layered. It's multidimensional. When I see energy, I see multiple layers of grids. I see little light dots. I see multiple meridian points. Like, like as in Eastern medicine, if you work with Eastern medicine or acupuncture, acupressure, that kind of a thing, reflexology, you understand that there's a lot of meridians. Meridians are just intersection points, highways, roadways. Um, there are so many different ways you can work with energy, but if you do remote energy work or you ask somebody to work with you, they might use a specific modality, which is fine. Just make sure that the modality feels okay to you, comfortable for you, because there's different techniques that are used and such. Now, your energy might not be as sensitive as mine, but I have preferences. Um, I, I like the healing touch energy. Um, I also have a wonderful, um, really wonderful friend of mine that's a healer that is so amazing at her remote healing work that if I need some work done or I need somebody to hold some energy space for me, I will contact her and she helps me with my kids too. Because it's hard to be that, I'm so attached to the outcome with my kids that it's hard to be unbiased energetically. So she helps me with that too. We work together to do it. And so, but there's a lot of modalities, you guys. Um, one of the most common ones is Reiki. And if you've watched my Fairy Grasshopper channel, you know how I feel about that one for myself. It's, it's not my jam necessarily, no. Nope. Um, but I like the healing touch and there's other healing modalities too. Um, I, I can't even think of all the names of all of them. There's so many. And it doesn't matter the actual technique or tool that's used. What matters is, is, is does it fit you? Does it work for you? Is that the one that works for you? So you might have to try a couple of different things to see. Is that what works for you? And utilize your spirit, your intuition to know if it feels right for you or not. But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of energy. Don't be afraid of learning how to manage your energy. Um, maybe right now is a great time to, uh, wow, Bridget needs a haircut, to, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> I'm serious, people. I'm serious. I really do. I need a haircut. Oh my gosh. Right now is the time to Maybe learn about chakras, learn about some of the energy stuff and take your power back because the universe are, the universe is filled with possibility and opportunity. And so I, it's really important for you to understand that wellness is a collaborative effort. It's not just the human body or the mind or the heart, but it's also the energy, the energy of who you are. And then they work together. It's harmonious. It's connected, you're connected. So for every physical body thing you have, for everything, no matter how serious it is, no matter if it's terminal or not, you can manage the energy 
for your best possible life. It's about quality. It's about connection and alignment. All right. So during these times when there's a lot of health talk going on and I know that collectively, energetically, there's a lot of fear and that's natural, you guys. That's like survival instinct mechanism is fear. That's natural. Don't dig on it. You don't have to judge that if you feel that way. Just recognize that fear is part of energy and energy can help or it can hinder. So what kind of energy do you want to connect to your physical body? And so you need to give yourself permission to create practices, routines, and simple things to do to maintain, to do maintenance on your energy so that it helps to support your overall health and wellness. And it helps to guide you through or coach you through the health issue that you are facing, dealing with, or feeling for yourself right now, right? Okay, so this is Bridget. This is a little bit of a casual video, but you guys, let's face it, everything is casual right now. Let me just tell you, I am like in my room, in my little nooky space here, in my little nook space, doing a video for y'all. Oh, and somebody's gonna ask about this. I have been doing yoga more frequently than I have. So, okay, so I, it's been like six months since I've been on my routine of doing it all the time. And so I'm a little out of shape. So I was doing some planks yesterday and I've been doing them for a couple days in a row now, longer, you know, holding them longer. And my wrist is sore today. So I just put a little thing on to help kind of keep it in place so that I don't have an excuse not to do my yoga again, but that I know that I'm supported. Support it, just like how energy can support your body. Same diff, okay. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching Above Life Channel. The purpose is always to inspire your spirit, to give you some hope. It's your life after all, it's yours. So live it. Live it inside, being chill, <laughs> but just live it. I hope that this video has inspired you and encouraged you today. Oh, I just send you so much hope, you guys. This is Bridget, thanks so much for watching.